So the, the three main things are allowing for more housing by relaxing the prescriptive mixed use requirements. I think you all understand how important that is. Um, simplifying and reducing parking requirements, particularly for, for the small lots. Having that flexibility is really critical. If you don't do that, I can guarantee you not much is gonna happen there. It hasn't happened already, and we'll reason with the parking requirements. Um, you can, in two or three years, do a, uh, a review of how it's going. You always have the ability to make changes in the future, but you need to move forward with the recommendations now to get things happening there now. And then the last is to maximize billable space for private development while balancing the public needs and creating walkable streets. The, the issue is really flexibility and then the market will dictate and they will propose what they feel that they can manage. And so it's highly doubtful they'll provide no parking. Um, they may want to provide more than they were allowed before and somewhere in that spot is a sweet spot that is gonna be, that will be proposed. Um, so by providing this flexibility and these changes, you're going to see activity happen. You're gonna see it happen right away. Um, as far as the building size maximums, that really didn't come before the Affordable Housing Committee. I'm not gonna speak for them, but for myself, I don't think we should be limiting those maximums, but that's my personal opinion as an architect. So thank you very much, and I do hope you'll approve all the changes. So thank you. Thank you. Tanya Leah. Um, I am an ex officio on the Ben Chamber of Commerce Board and I'm also the advisory council chair for the Ben Young Professionals. Um, I'm here to support the needed changes to the development code that allows for efficient use of space and strategies to make the central district a place where affordable and accessible housing and development can occur. Uh, the Ben Chamber supports policies that allow for more affordable housing, workforce, ho workforce housing, and overall plans for the Ben Central District. And those of us in the Bend YP community keenly feel the lack of affordable housing um, and want to support the cause to do something about it. Um, it is important that this development achieve the goals of adding significant housing inventory that is centered in a vibrant urban uh, environment with access to multiple modes of transportation. And this type of policy supports these goals. Louise? I am Moe Newbold. I'm here representing the Ben Central District Initiative. Um, and just a little bit of background. Um, I know you know planning around this was started in like 2005, or I think before then even, um, when the Central Area Plan was last adopted and it was identified as an area that um, was underutilized and could be you know, more of a vibrant urban center for Bend. And then there was a 2014 mixed use multimodal master plan area, something like that. Um, <laughs> I used to have it down. Um, 